All right, so today on Worth It, we have a weird comparison for you. We're looking at a non-tech related item, but it's very essential to everyday life. What are we looking at? Something that everybody uses mm. every single day. Mm -hmm. It's almost the extension of your hand if okay, you're like a get journalist on with or something like that. Get on with we it. We are reviewing and comparing pens. Mm. Now, we're going to be looking at three different pens at three very different price points to see which one is most worth it. Are you very, excited? Very different price points. I'm kind of excited. I am excited. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I love pens. I write yes, with them a does. lot. Okay, get you like pens too. I do like pens. This man writes more than I do, and he writes with like a dollar pen. Speaking of dollar pens, that is our first pen on the list. It is called the Poppin. It's a very nice sleek design, yep. white with a gray logo here. Yeah, it goes for a dollar. It and comes in like in packs of 10. Packs of 10, so you get these for $10. And you pretty much get what you pay for. So you get, if it's, yeah. a, if it's a dollar, I mean, it works. It does smudge a little bit, but that's if you kind of rub your hands on it right afterwards. But if you leave it for a second or two after, you'll be fine. So in terms of build quality, it's a cheap plastic. You hear it rattling around inside of there. You know, I mean, it's it's a dollar. Something that a lot of people, I find, do with these cheap quality pens is they put them in their mouth and they chew on uh, them. So it's a terrible habit, and if you do it, you need to stop. Don't do that, yeah. it's disgusting. Chewing on the lids. I remember people in like class with the ballpoint pens and they have the most mangled lid. I'm like, ew. <laughs> the pen is good for a dollar. The clip on it is, is, is plastic. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to like pull too hard because it'll snap. It's not like some of the metal ones that are a little bit more expensive. Does it write well? Yeah, Scale I think of one so. to ten. How does it write? It doesn't glide. It's a ballpoint. It's a ballpoint. It doesn't. It doesn't lose its its ink when you no. write it for a little bit. Yeah, it's very consistent. In terms of build quality, it's a cheap plastic. It feel it doesn't feel terrible. No. But you know it's. It's a cheap plastic. It's a good. It's a good dimension. Like it, it fits nice in your hand. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. It's good. All right. That's a dollar pen. It's okay. I like it. The poppin. 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 All right. So now we're moving up to the medium price pen. This one goes for around fifty dollars. It is called the Cross Pen. It's unique in the way it extends. Look at this. You want to write? You pull it out. Ooh. And now you got a bigger pen. This has actually been patented by the Cross Company. This is, they are the only ones that can do this. It's kind of a weird design where you pull it out and then the, the tip extends so you can write on it. It is a cool mechanism. I've never seen that. And it's pretty firm in that position too. Like if you write on it, it's not going to kind of compress in like no. you think yeah. it would. You can like write on it and you're fine. It's pretty good. It is. It's, build it's a gel pen. It's not a ballpoint pen. So there is a risk of it smudging mm -hmm. a little bit if you touch yeah. it afterwards. Now build quality. What do you think? It's pretty solid. It's, it's heavier, definitely heavier than the pop and pen. Pop and pen, that sounds kind of weird. Pen. It's kind of cool, <laughs> the pop and pen. It's heavier, so it feels like it's an expensive pen. So it's made of plastic and a bit of metal. I believe everything silver on there is like a stainless steel, Something like aluminum. That too, yeah. It doesn't say on the box what it is. It feels good. You're writing with this in a place, people are gonna be like, ooh, he's got a, he's got a decent pen. You know, instead of using one of those like dollar ammo pens. It's one of those pens with like a cool design that somebody, it might catch somebody's eye when they see you kind of like flip it open and start to write with it. Yeah, it's nice. I, I don't mind it. It's a lot easier to write with just because it is a gel pen for $50. I'd say $50 is kind of like the upper tier of like an everyday kind of pen. Yeah, like if you were to lose this, it would hurt, but you wouldn't be like losing, you know, I, I'm trying to think of like losing your phone. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not it's not that caliber, but it is nice. Look how sleek that is. It looks classy. Oh, Cross. another thing with this one is that you can change the ink because it is more of an expensive pen. Yeah, you can screw the bottom part. Um, so if your ink runs out, there are refills of of this, and you can get them in different colors. Whereas with the poppin' pen, it's more like a one and done type of thing. Well, you don't ever. I don't see you ever needing to replace <laughs> a poppin' pen's ink because you can just get another one in your pack of ten. All right. That was our medium price pen. Time to get stupid. I believe this requires a fresh page, Nathan. I believe so as well. Are you excited for this pen? I am very excited. So this this pen is stupid expensive. This one goes for over a thousand dollars. It even comes. Okay, it doesn't come with the case. You have to buy the case additionally. All right, this case is like another two hundred and fifty dollars. Wow. And that's not even the most expensive case. So, so this pen brand, it's well recognized around the world 
by this logo right here. It is a Mont Blanc. One of the reasons that people buy Mont Blanc pens is because of the prestige and status yeah. you get when you use them. So think of products like Apple or Ferrari or something mm -hmm. like that, the high end or Louis Vuitton. People get them because when you see them, you see that person with yeah, you associate it with yeah. something else. Look at it. It just, it looks pretty. It's a quality pen. It looks nice. How does it write? So this Ooh. one, it's a spin-off. Yep. So you got to spin the cap to get it off. It doesn't clip here because it's like you can just leave it there and kind of like have, have somebody look at it while you're writing yeah, or look something at, like look that. At, look <laughs> at it. Look at it while I'm writing. <laughs> so it writes very, very smoothly. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like a heavy material. What is it? Metal it's and resin or something? Metal and resin. So you know that you're you're holding something quality when yeah, you're writing with this. Yeah, its build quality is insane. Like the cap is heavier mm -hmm. than the cross pen, and that was a heavy pen, like compared to the poppin. In terms of, since they're both kind of like gel pens, I wonder how the ink compares. Ooh, it's a good test. <laughs> so I mean, the cross, the cross pen does ha produce a thicker uh, ink, yeah, but it also smudges, whereas the Mont Blanc pen, it doesn't smudge at all, which it's is very surprising. Yeah. yeah, I was surprised. So, another couple of things to look over is that metal, resin, I think the metal is like stainless steel or something. You can get them in weird, wacky metals. Like some of them come in sterling silver. It, it, it's stupid how expensive it is. There's so many different types of Mont Blanc pens that you can get. It's all based on user preference. Yeah. Whether you want to pay an exuberant amount of money, much more than this for a pen that was only produced once or something like that, or mm -hmm. you want kind of a cheaper quality Mont Blanc pen that would range probably like 200 to $400. Yeah, 400. It's just cool. Like writing with this in a Starbucks, you're going to get a bunch of eyes. Like someone's going to be like, ooh, what's they doing? What are they writing? I feel like these are the type of pens that, that you would sign like a major merger with. Or like a lawyer would like hand to yeah. his client to sign uh, a latest sign agreement here. or something like that. These are pens that, all right, Nathan, three pens, three very different price points. Which one did you think was most worth it? So if I'm going for a pure status, from a pure status standpoint, Ooh. obviously the Mont Blanc wins. Yeah. But for somebody in my position, for regular use, I don't see the Mont Blanc being that pen for me. I don't see myself using this very much. I, I feel like if I were to get one, I'd like put it on a pedestal because I'd be afraid to use it. So between these two, although I did like the the writing and the cool patented design of the cross pen, yep. I'm gonna have to go with a poppin' pen just because it's so easy to use. If you run out or you lose it, there's nine other pens that you can use. Whereas if you lose this, you have to spend another $50 to, to replace it. So I'm gonna have to go with the poppin' pen. Ooh, interesting. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of agree with Nathan. There's something about having that ease of mind. You're going to a Starbucks, you're writing down a bunch of stuff, you're writing with the poppin' pen, you leave it at the table by accident for whatever reason. You're not worried about losing it. And it writes pretty well too. I mean, mm -hmm. it's decent, fits in your hand. So I feel like for this worth it, it's the poppin' pen. Come on, stand, stand poppin'. Okay, whatever, poppin' pen. Maybe if it was $2, it would do that. <laughs> it comes with a stand built in. All right, so let us know in the comments below which one you thought was most worth it, which one you guys liked the most, or if you just thought they were dumb. I don't know, there's that too. If you guys want to see us review anything, let us know in the comments below as well. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.